Today's video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese subscription box full of popular Japanese candy and snacks, such as Japan exclusive Kit Kats, Ramen A, Ramen, and much more. If what I'm about to show you from them appeals to you, use the code KITKAT22 to get a bonus Kit Kat in your first box. As for Sakura Co, that's a monthly Japanese subscription box full of authentic traditional Japanese snacks from Japan's local artisan snack makers. Use the code TIGER to get a bonus Japanese goodie from them in your first box. Both Sakura Co and Tokyo Tree are boxes that are delivered straight from Japan to your door, and the themes change every month, so there's always something new. So you can buy them as a gift for the person you love, or share them with your friends on Valentine's. Let's start the loving right now with this month's theme. Sakura Co, for instance, we're going to be starting off with, is a place where if you like to see the finer side of Japanese culture and the snacks provided, and it doesn't usually have cute characters on them, but the packaging is cute in itself, this is the box for you, because you can get a really good understanding about what to expect from the quality, upper-class side of life of Japan. Let's begin, and even though you may not be able to understand kanji, don't worry, each of these comes with a handy little instruction manual, and like your mangoes, it reads right to left. And you get a nice little kind of history and context to most of the snacks right here and their cultural significance. So that's very good to look forward to. Ooh, already I can see something really, really cool here. Valentine's Delights is the Japanese chocolate Danish. Ooh, very nice. And it's always very good because it gives you um, allergen information. So you're always understanding about what to expect as well as whether it's vegetarian friendly or vegan friendly. So it's always very good to see consideration going into the packaging. And ooh, Japanese bakery is very well known for very soft bread. And this is very much in keeping with that. So I'll just put that there for now. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. That's a nice, nice kind of going into that nice interior. So really, do you have to try some? This takes us back to Japan, doesn't it? Because Japan, there were always pastries, or bread mm. in the local 7-Eleven. Mm, definitely. It's really nice. The bread is very soft. And... It tastes really fresh. Mm, despite it being in packaging. in packaging. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the makers from Kobo. Very good on you, sir. So... They are... The artists that like preserving bread for long yeah, periods of time. Yeah, exactly. But it it gets results. I'll be saving that for later. Ski desu cheese cookie. Now let's have a look for this one. Ooh. Cheese cookie. Yes, cheese cookie. Yep, yeah, literally. It's a sachet. It's a don't don't eat <laughs> this. No, don't eat that. No, don't eat that. And oh my goodness, it's cheese and crackers melded into one. Yeah, right. It's cheese shortbread. It's cheese shortbread. But I would say, like a little bit like their pizza crisps, sort of which we are a huge fan of. It's more of like a synthetic, cheesy taste. It yeah. It's like cheddar. It's like cheese, like ch mini cheddars. Mini cheddars. Mini, yeah, it's basically mini cheddar. Yeah, it's mini cheddars, but in the form of shortbread. Next is a mozuku cookie. Let's see. Ah, here we go. And it's shaped like a heart. This Okinawa made crispy cookie is made by working Okinawa mozuku seaweed. It is in the Aww. shape of a heart. Well, that's sweet. Then. That's surprisingly sweet. Mm, it's sweeter. That's mm. a proper shortbread. Um, well, that's the mozuku seaweed. It's meant to be sweet and savoury, like a nice umami flavour. Mm, mm. Very nice. Heart-shaped strawberry chocolate arare. That's kind of packaging that'll go. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. There we go. It's like a. That's the meant to be the more delicate way of opening it. This is from the Kanagawa region. And it's combining sweet and salty, these mini arare crackers covered in chocolate have been lovingly crafted in Kanagawa. They are not only an addictive crunchy treat, but also make a unique Valentine's Day present. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, already, the distinct Japanese strawberry flavor. So, there you go, try some of that. It's just crackers, they're like arare crackers, but with like- It's like yogurt and savory, isn't it? Yeah, like strawberry yogurt. Mmm. Oh, they're like, Things are getting Bombay mix. Oh, yeah. Well, like yogurt on the top. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Sanchecha chocolate cake. Not too bitter, not too sweet. Oh, that is a very dense cake, isn't that? Wow. Mmm. Very subtle. That is very subtle and very Moorish. Strawberry jelly. Strawberry jelly time. Morihaku from the Gifu prefecture. 
Wrapped in a sweet bow, this refreshing jelly is almost too tempting to give as a present. Inside you'll find a treat packed with the sweet and slightly sour flavour of fresh strawberries. Ooh, that's they a, do love strawberries. They oh. do, and that, that's a very deep colour. This is the first time, I must admit, in a subscription box that I've ever seen jelly, so this mm. is very bold. Mm. Again, subtle. Philly, would you like to try some? Yeah, that's the thing. You don't get overwhelmed with this, so that means after doing all of these snacks, you don't feel like your teeth are about to fall out. Now, this is something quite interesting coming up next is, um, and there's one each, so oh, you get these are Nohime Strawberry Gaufrette Wafers. Mm -hmm. And these are very similar to uh, Gaufre in French class. I used to get these all the time. Well, we get these as a reward. So, oh, do you get, a actually, do you get two? Oh, no, no. It's, it's like, like a it's a custard cream. It's like a very tiny custard cream in the middle. So let's try it. And it's print Gaufrette. Mmm. That is, that is strawberry, like, puree. That's very common in, in Japanese snacks. Mm -hmm. But very delicate. You get a lot for it. Mmm. Mmm. No, nice. That's probably one of my favourites. Like, a nice blend of the sweetness. Strawberry crunch. Made with Gifu-grown Nokime strawberries, this delightful bite packs plenty of punch, as the name might suggest. Blending the flavours of white chocolate and strawberry. These are like Rice Krispies sweat, the actual bars that you used to get in the day. Because yeah. the white chocolate is there. It's quite dense, so I'll just go. That is dense, but not overpowering. It may contain traces of apple, squid, orange, kiwi, banana, sesame, and almond. <laughs> okay. Okay, I couldn't taste it, but there you go. Now, time for tea. Now, this isn't quite tea time in England, but we're definitely gonna have this off screen, so we'll definitely have this later. Satoen Fuji Red Kocha. Often considered a rare product, Japanese black tea is not something you see every day. Ooh. We'll definitely have to try some of that. We're not tea drinkers, big tea drinkers per se, but... Speciality teas we're drinking. Yes, we'll definitely save this for a special occasion. Now, this is the really, really cool bit that you get in each box. You get inside of this box, you get patent dish just like oh, that. That's... Very nice ceramic. And utilizing arabesque patterns as a part of the design, these plates have a unique and auspicious charm. And I believe this is something to do with the red string phenomena uh, in Japanese culture. You're tied together with red string. This next one is Mini Anko Baumkuchen. So blending both Japanese and Western sweet, soft Baumkuchen cakes around sweet yokan for a light and gentle Japanese treat. Try pairing with tea. So you get four. So we'll have, we'll have one right now to see what it's like without. And then we shall see what it's like when we have our tea later. So there you go, there's one for you. It's got a jelly texture inside. Mmm. That's nice and depth. That's that's a nice little thing. If you don't want to have just biscotti with your thing, this is actually quite a nice little subtle alternative. Now this one does contain traces of sh shrimp, bring a touch of spice to your Valentine's celebration. This crunchy cracker and peanut snack has been a popular treat in Japan for decades. Pink okushi. Kaminari okushi is a crispy rice snack. However, this snack offers a unique Valentine's cake with vivid pink color and peanut accents. Yes, so let's this see. This looks like a pink wafer. Mm. That's really crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. Like a rice krispie cake. I don't know about that. Well, maybe like rice krispie squares, but they're really tiny. Ricicles, mm. like ricicles, but with a peanut flavour. And you actually get little peanuts in there as well, so. Mmm. Mm. That's good. That's very nice. This one is plum zarami senbei. Now this one again has made tra traces to shrimp, so that, that is a beast with like sugar crystals. Ooh. Whoa. That's got some crunch to you it. You hear it from here. Yeah. It's like a sweetness down your throat, but at the same time, it just, it's got that, that crunch just sort of kind of just throws you for a loop. But yeah, inside there, that is really, really dense kind of crackers. But next to shrimp, shrimp and mayo crackers. Oh, that, that definitely smells like prawn and shrimp. There's the kewpie. There's definitely the kewpie in there. Unfortunately, eating all this shrimp means I can't kiss you, Philly, for the next uh, 24 hours. Great Valentine's gift. I know. Yeah, don't, 
Don't do this on Valentine's Day. Do it maybe like a couple of days beforehand or maybe a week. Only if the person has a crustacean allergy. Mm. Otherwise, you can eat them together. Oh, the strawberry balm cooking. So it's like we had the balm cooking shit earlier. It's like a giant jammy dodger. It is a literal giant fluffy jammy dodger. Oh. Well, it's a, it's a, a dense, soft a soft donut. So there you go. Mm. Now. It's really dense. Now this is from Tokyo and uh, Kashihara. Using this famed Amal strawberry from Fukuoka, known for its large size, sweet flavor, and vibrant color, this strawberry brown cookie is baked with fresh cream that mellows out the sweet and sour strawberry flavor. Are they the strawberries you saw in abroad in Japan? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. but we do watch abroad in Japan, mm -hmm. by the way. And there's a really dense and big strawberry, so mm, very They're nice. so expensive. Mm. Unlike most strawberry things in Japan, this is actually quite subtle. I think so, it's genuinely proper strawberry. I think and mm. we get so used to like synthetic strawberry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's good with a coffee or a tea, I must say. But yeah. Mm. Mm, so very. basically, Valentine's is strawberries because they're pink, and shrimp because they're pink. Mm. Ninety-five percent of the stuff here is pink, except for the uh, senbei. But all in all, this was a really good experience, and it's a good thing we haven't had lunch yet because yeah. I think I would have been think. And we've actually got one more box to show you, so we should do a bit of a jump cut, and we will look to that right now. With the beauty of jump cuts right here, if you want to have something a little bit more peppy, more trendy, more poppy, then Tokyo Tree is the box that you're gonna want. So we follow this same theme of sweet and snacky Valentines, but as you can see, with a lot more whiz, bang, glamour, and more pink. Oh yeah, <laughs> wow. Already, that's a lot of Kit Kat. This is sweet and snacky Valentines, as you can see here. You get a nice little booklet like you do with the Sakura Ko one. Bite into Japan. But I can tell you, Japan does not bite. It rules. First of all, let's try out the hi- Ooh, Haichus. <gasps> Haichus! Oh. And these are Haichu Premium Amal Strawberry. So can you tell there's more strawberry here? Now this is made with the refreshing flavor of Fukuoka grown Amal Strawberries. More of those. Haichu created a premium version of this. Ooh. These are like bonbons. They're strawberry oh. bonbons. Mmm. Mm. This is like a high chew mixed with a bonbon. Mm. Oh my god. That that's great. These are the brands and makes that you will recognize almost instantly. So high chew, very good start right there. Kit Kat strawberry milk. Here we go. Now, if for those of you don't know, Kit Kats, they're not just like have a break, have a Kit Kat in Japan. They are ridiculously popular. You can actually write a message to your crush because they're giving us little gifts. So That's here's sweet. a gift to you. I don't need to write it because you already know how much I love you. Aww. Aww. Wholesome. It's Kit Kats basically, but if you know, it's like they're in much more cute they're packaging mini. and they're mini with a creamier and smoother texture. Mm. Mm. I find it really surprising. We went to Japan and we never had any Kit Kats there. Mm. That surprised me. Another reinvention of a classic dish that we have from back in the day, if I can actually get into the very deep box, I must say, Fue Ramone candy. But to me, that just looks like a polo. These bite-sized candies have an addictive fizzing quality that makes it melt in your mouth while it packs an awesome strawberry punch. Get one of those. So it's meant to mimic Ramone. So that's the classic convention staple. They are really hollow, but it's got a nice poppy feel to it. It's a very chalky polo, I would say. A strawberry cream and biscuit snack pack. What's the name of that of that thing that um? Oh, dip dabs. Dips, no, no the, not dip dabs. I know chocolate. Choc choc yeah, KP choc make those. Yeah, like yeah. you get the little thing. Oh, I love yeah, those. Yeah, they're basically this is the one. Oh. Oh, and oh, that's with yeah. strawberry. That's a strawberry iteration of the oh. of uh, dips. Oh, God, I want to lick the lid. Yeah, I'll go on. You can lick the lid because you're not on camera. So this is the cracker and this is the creamy bit and. Again, cracker's very nice, very stable. Um, you get, there's a creaminess to it, but the flavor, again, is very mild. Mm, I think this is what it's called when you don't have as many emails. It's actual real flavoring. Yeah, it's definitely something that you're not gonna end up like overwhelmed, let's just say that. Um, now this one is like a twister, but it's marshmallow. So mashuro, as in similar to marshmallow. Fluffy, sweet, and colorful, this thick Japanese marshmallow is super tasty on its own or in a cup of hot cocoa. Ooh, okay, so you could potentially stick this in your hot beverage at night. But again, it's a twisty mushroom. So, uh, mushroom? Marshmallow. Sorry, I'm growing marsh, uh, mushroom. Am I growing, growing marshmallows? marshmallows? <laughs> Sorry, no, I, 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 marshmallow. 
Mm, I'm not really detecting much flavour in that, but no. it is very fluffy. I imagine if you it had that like in a hot... Miniature flump. Yeah, if you had a hot chocolate with that, yeah, it would work. That, that bag looks huge. Yeah, this is the sweet choco croissant. It is a pan of, it is basically a pan of chocolate. Why don't you mm. put it really warm? Uh, you can warm it up if you like, but. Mm, this chocolate's just solid. Mm. But it's, it's good. It's a darker chocolate. Yeah, microwave it. But yeah, it is essentially a pan of chocolate. So if you like pan of chocolate in the mornings, this will work for you quite nicely. But you can have it cold, you can warm it up. So you don't have to, but I'm not, I'm not your dad. So. You can do what you want. This is the one when I first saw it. Mini strawberry milk choco balls, but what? don't get this confused with other things, you know. But they're just choco balls, like Astros yeah. back in the day. But obviously they use like a pill company this package. Yeah. And they're they're good until June 2023, so that's a good sign. Mm. I can't taste the strawberry in that though, but again. Subtle. It's creamy, texture's nice. Mm. Umai Choco Bites. From the makers of Umai Bo, these moist and crispy Japanese Choco Bites are super addictive. They're quite hollow, but they remind me of Weetos, almost. Mm. That is basically a Weeto. Mm. Or like Rice Krispie Cakes. Like yeah. you make at home. Yeah, that homemade ones, definitely. Ooh. Oh, now this, Marioka Strawberry Milk in oh. a can. Okay. If it's a drink, Japan can can it. Yeah. Uh, they are very good at putting things in a can. Your favourite is Calpis, isn't it? You look quite like that. I like Calpis, yeah. Tired of a Valentine from a Valentine's Day, Japan is famous for its vending machines and can drink selections. So, Philly's not a fan of milk, but... Oh, oh dear. Oh. Why was it fizzy? It's still, it's milk. I don't think it's fizzy. I think it's just, I the, it's just the pressurised, but... Quite like that. I'm gonna have it on my cereal tomorrow. And actually, in here, you can make yourself a milkshake because it does come up with a little recipe to mix the umai choco bites and some strawberries in the strawberry milk. You can make a milkshake out of it with some whipped cream. Mm, it's so you can make a nice little combination of, of various other snacks. So you don't just have to have them straight, you can then blend them into other things. Now, this is a nostalgic milk senbei. So this is gonna be. Oh, this is like the senbei crackers, but this time they are. Wow! That is really thin right there. The traditional senbei crackers. Oh, but they melt in your mouth. They, they do. They're melting in your hand. Yeah, so you just gotta be very careful with it. Mmm. I like that. That flavor's really nice and delicate. And this is probably one of the delicate foods I've ever seen outside of like rice crackers. Mm. Sherbet Pero Cola Flavor Sweets. Oh, this is, this is a proper dip dab. Dip the lollipop, enjoy a refreshing candy treat. Now this one, I know Philly really likes these dip dabs. Mm. So you can have that one. So just report back to that, but it's essentially- oh, It's just a cola lolly. It's a cola lolly with sherbet. I'm not really a fan of those, but what do you think? Is that good? Mm. Yeah, cola flavor is surprisingly good no matter what, how you spin it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. That's what you do when you dip it on there. So that's the undipped side and then that's the dip side. Don Don Yaki kimchi flavor. So we got some kimchi things and that is that right there. So this is kimchi. So it's fermented cabbage from Korea and it doesn't smell too strong. You can definitely taste the kimchi in there. Now don't worry, it's not it's not overpowering. I can assure you. I think it's like um it's the shape of a I think it's meant to be in the shape of a temple, temple. of temple oh, houses. Temple. Like yeah, exactly. So I think it's meant to be like that, but hmm. Not too shabby there. Quite nice. Mike from Frito Lay, so it's the same company as based with Walkers, shrimp uh, popcorn with shrimp salt. That is very soft popcorn, I will admit. But the shrimp salt's there, not too shabby indeed. Does it taste like pork cocktail? No, because Japanese so, shrimp flavour doesn't taste like prawn It cocktail. tastes like prawn crackers in a way, but okay. it's a bit, but they are managed with shrimp salt, so mm. it definitely has shrimp flavour in there. This is Yamato Turtle Crackers. So, taking its name from the pattern of a turtle shell, these tasty and crunchy Japanese crackers with soy sauce flavouring will be just the salty break you need after all those sweets. So it's soy based, so this is probably mm. more like it. I think Chris got something. Yeah, I remember them. 
Chris was our tour guide. For me. Yeah, Hasagi. You may have seen him a couple of times on the channel. He took us around to Japan and got drunk mm. quite often. Mm. But I remember yeah, having these. Nice. These were actually quite nice. Mm. So they're nice. Yamato Turtle Characters definitely recommend those. Taro beans are next, and based around these, finish off your Valentine's feats with Taro beans, featuring Mom Mamo Taro, the boy who was born from a peach. That's a classic Japanese legend. These delicious bite-sized crackers are irresistibly crunchy. Let's see. So, again, these are tiny, tiny little crackers. Is Packed with surprising nice? flavor. It's savory flavor. It's savory. Savory flavor. So, savory cracker. crackers. Now, this next one, it's a. Uh, this is the Nishin Donbe Yuzu scented sawmen. Now, I've had way too many sweets, but I'm definitely going to open this later. But essentially, in Japan, a popular way to keep a date going that you don't want to end is grab a bowl of noodles. We're bringing the noodles to you, though. So it gives you instructions about how to make, you know, sawmen, this sawmen properly. So you can check this. So not only does it provide you context, it gives you information on what to do with some snacks. So that's as maybe really a, good, because I mean, the mm. instructions are in Japanese. Strawberry soft serve marshmallow. So... It, it is ice cream shaped and it that Ooh. is soft. That is really soft. That is really strange. Is the cone soft as well? No, this is proper wafer cone. Oh, okay. Let's try some there. It's cornetto. Oh my, that's weird. Mm -hmm. That actually tastes like a... Well, it's just like, it's marshmallowy with like sugar crystals on it. And it's got jam. Oh, it's got jam in the side. Mm. Ooh, okay. Let's just show that. Yeah, it's got like some kind of jammy thing in the middle of it, but that's really crazy. But Mmm. Yeah. You can see that more in detail right there. You want to finish it? Go on. Now you can Bye. finish it. But yeah, there we go. That was Tokyo Treat. Now, this is more kind of stuff you'd be more familiar with from pop culture. And it's stuff that is not as unusual as Sakura Ko. But Sakura Ko is there if you want to have like the authentic experience. Whereas Tokyo Treat, this is something where you want to see on the everyday thing you could find in the convenience store, wouldn't you? Oh, so Sakura Ko is like sophisticated night, quite romantic. Yeah. This is if you want to have a laugh. Yeah, this is what if you want to have a laugh and you have a good time and you want things which are sort of familiar, but have a nice Japanese twist to it. So again, thank you so much to Sakura Ko and Tokyo Treat for this experience. And do check out the links in the description if you want to try it for yourself. I hope you look forward to next month's box because we will be covering those as well. So look forward to that and I hope you're doing really well. So until next time, folks, I shall see you in the next video. Catch you later.